So, today I will be making three Jinties. And specifically remastering two, make kind of new one, but who, who's counting, yeah? Alright, so to get right into this, uh, for who I will be making, the first one right here, which is, yeah, I'm gonna, this is going to be the remake one, this is going to be my uh, Northwestern Jinty. For part of my AU, you know, like, you know, different kind of livery, all, all that stuff, you know, just in, in that style. And I gotta figure out the number. I don't, I, I gotta, I really gotta think on my, on my numbering for my engines, because I'm probably gonna, I need to renumber Rosie and Murdoch again, I'm thinking. Maybe Ryan too. Yeah, just, I, I need to work on my numbering strategy, but it's gonna be a, what if Jinty, or what if there's like Jinty on the Northwestern, you know, that classic stuff, and it's gonna be in a Northwestern livery, all that, not just a BR black. Yeah. And next up, we got an OC that is owned by my dear friend, Star Hunter. So his boy is a Jinty, and of course, I made, this is still that character. I'm, I made him a while ago. But it's it's an old model. It's shown its time and could overall use an update. And another thing is, I, I used some weird RC Percy for this chassis, right? And one big issue with it, it sits crooked. If I can get this on, it sits really crooked, like tilted backwards. Like this is it at ground level. And I just, I, I think it's more noticeable on this side. No, it's more noticeable on this side. And so I don't waste another Percy chassis, I'm going to try and, like, recalibrate the height or something like that. Because the chassis is fine. It needs a little bit of work, but it'll work. I just need to adjust the height so it's not sitting all wonky, like it's, like, tilted back this way. It's It may not be noticeable with this camera angle, but trust me, it is horrible. Yeah. So I'm going to... That's the main hurdle I'm going to be tackling with this. Yeah. And, and this isn't a gray livery, but since then, he's upgraded it to uh, BR lined black for BR. Or li BR lined black. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. And finally, we have just a regular Jinty. So this is an OC of mine. Keeping up on the trend of, I'm going to work on some OCs. And the this character... I, the model, I don't hate the model too much. I mean, overall, I'm going to revamp the, all the shapes, like do some new techniques. But I more so want to clean this up a bit, and I've changed a bit of the style I want to do here. Like, I want to do this in an unlined LMS black livery. That's the main thing. That's really all I can say. Uh, you know, the old decals, and the name Midland, but I, that name sucks, so I'm going to change it eventually. I probably won't say it in this video, but yeah. And yeah, this, like, the model's like dusty, old, and the glue marks suck. So I just, I'm just gonna revamp this. I'm gonna make this look all nice again. So, yeah, I think for the first time we have a triple project. Uh, no, no, uh, the lost treasure was a triple project. Yeah, but this is the, this is a per yeah. Been a while since I did a triple project, but honestly, these should be pretty easy. There is lining, but with the power of Tamiya masking tape, I'm not worried anymore. Yeah. So with that, now I'm going to talk about kind of what I want to do for the shape. And for that, I'll use the most intact one and the one that hasn't been shaped yet for comparison. Sorry, buddy. But yeah, I don't plan on doing too much different. Like, I'm probably going to keep this back here, just make it a bit more nice. Like, I'm going to, I'm going to both of these, I'm going to take all the paint off and just redo it from scratch. But I mean, I'm probably going to do like this the same, maybe a little different, but overall the concept staying there. I'm probably going to keep the tanks or tank length that I cut the same. Maybe make the, I'm planning on making the splashers a little smaller. No, definitely a lot smaller. Like maybe you're on this size because I have these different ones if you can see. Just, you know, the Jinties, they have really small uh, splashers. So I'd like to try and replicate that. Yeah. Just something I got to think about in terms of what I'm going to do. Maybe Milliput, but I don't know. I got to see. Because these were a pain to cut down. I remember that. That was such a pain to cut down. So if I can use modeling clay for them, I probably will. Yeah. And what else? What else? I'm definitely... I'm going to cut off the sandboxes. I'm going to really make an... Or the old... No, not the sandboxes. Percy's Piston. I'm going to make an effort to cut that off. That'll probably make things better. 
and maybe a little more detail in the front makes like the smoke box more rounded off. Uh, proper proper boiler bands too, probably, or at least one on the front. And uh, <clears throat> oh, my apologies. The big one, the big thing I plan on doing is I'm probably gonna cut the cab back a little bit. I'm thinking, so the tanks will look a little longer. And plus, the Jinties, their cabs just aren't that thick. You know, Thomas Thomas has a big cab that works for the Trackmaster model. Like, his is around this, and a Jinties is around, th like, this. You know, Thomas is this, Jinties is this. So I want to just cut it back ever so slightly. And to do that, I'm going to have to cut into the motor a bit. And I know that's going to work. These will still be able to run if I can do this right. Because as an example... Yet another OC of someone from the friend group. My buddy Creductions. This is his OC. All over there. And shoot. I, um, I need that is screwed down. I need a screwdriver. Okay, here. We have one right here. All right. So if we just loosen this, we're going to see something that's going to look kind of crazy. Yeah. So uh, if any of you remember the old custom video, because I didn't make one on this, I had to cut down the uh, the motor. Because I had to cut the cab back on this. Yeah. And here's the thing. This would actually be a perfectly functional motor if this bit right here was just held down with plastic. Just keep that there, and this would have ran beautifully. Like, if I run my nail. Okay, if, if I put weight on it. If I move it so it catches. There, see? It wants to move, but it just is jumbling around. But I know with the Jinty, I'm not going to have to cut it back this far. Honestly, I don't remember why I cut it back this far. I could actually probably fix this. Yeah, I'm probably going to do that. that the, the only reason why it runs so horribly is because I cut it back that far. But, you know, if, if, I, if you just cut the shell off ever so slightly, the gears can stay there, and the cab can just go back. Should be as simple as that. So what that means is tanks will look longer. Firebox could probably be a bit bigger, or boiler could be longer. And yeah, that would just... It would work. I've seen some people do it, and I want to try it for myself. And with that, that's really the shape. I, I don't plan on doing much. I don't, maybe maybe make the smoke box a little shorter, but that, that's really it. That's all I plan to do. So overall, easy easy customs. Easy customs. Just I'm making three of them. Let's tie this back higher. I'm going to uh, put this back on. And with that, that's really all I have to say. So with that... I'm going to get to taking these apart, and at the same time, I'm just going to get all the paint and gunk off these two. And yeah, I'll get back in a bit. And with that, here's everything now, just taken all apart, all the paint's taken, or paint stripped off, yeah. I, yeah, I'm just going to start. So with this guy, it may not seem like much because it's just a base model, but the stickers suck to take off. Yeah, it's like I was trying to peel them off nicely, but then they ripped. So then I tried scraping them, and then all that gunk residue from the sticker was there. I tried soaking soaking it in water. That didn't work to take it off. I tried like, filing and sanding it down. That just made it worse. Then I remembered how I used to do all this. I don't know how I completely forgot. I, I do wet it down, but then I scrape away at it with just a... Uh, I don't... Don't be stupid doing this. I... If you... If... <laughs> I recommend getting some help if you do this. It's just probably a good disclaimer. But I used a knife. Like, I, I scraped it away from me. Make Keep that in mind. Away. And just got all that gunk off while trying not to scratch the body shell too much. And with that, that's really it for the base Thomas shell. Just Percy shell. Rip the stickers off. I'm going to try and just rip out the entire piston so I don't care about there being a sticker on there still. Now for the second one, my original... Like BR Gen T. I'm sorry. I did. <laughs> I didn't know this was a plant. Or I I remember it now, but I don't. I didn't remember. This is what I used my old paint paint splattered Thomas for. I could be wrong here, but this might be a rare piece of merch. But simply put, young me was dumb. Didn't know what I should and shouldn't paint. And uh, <laughs> too late now. No, no use in restoring this. So I'm just gonna make it a Gen T anyway. Yeah, that's something with that. The chassis, I didn't take everything. On the back, I kind of just left it because it was neat enough. But on the front, I did take away the red paint. Just, I, I'm going to sand it a bit more, but I just took a bit of paint off. The back was fine, so I kept it like that. It's, that's good. That's all good. Now, finally, for my buddy Star Hunters OC. 
And one thing I realized, this was also my first Timothy custom. Like, I did not realize that until I started scraping the paint away. Oh, uh, just interesting. Just interesting to think about. Yeah, really not much to say. Uh, running board, just took some paint. Same thing, took it off the front, kept it on the back for the most part. And, you know, I'm, I'm really trying to up my game with customs, you know? I'm trying to take the old paint off of all uh, the two old models. As I've done for this video in the past. And really, the, only, the way I've been doing it, I've just been soaking them in water and just scraping away at them and sanding as seemed fit. Yeah, it's pretty easy, honestly. I don't use any chemicals or something. Just just good old water. Good old, good old drown them. Drown them. But yeah, with that, I'm just gonna... I want to move straight to the cutting. Now, I, there isn't really much to do. Because these two, they already have them cut for the most part. You know, the little indent. Now, for this one, I just have to I do the same thing, but that's going to be easy. But then, for the thing I want to do differently with these. I did mention this before, but I want to cut the cab back. Or, I, I said that, so I'm not going to put emphasis on it. But I'm going to cut it back to either here, like where this window ends, or maybe like midway through. I'm, I'm not going to take a whole chunk out. Just enough to where the tanks look a little longer. Yeah, so with that, I'm just going to get straight to the cutting. Not much to say for it. It will be pretty easy. That was pretty easy. <laughs> so, I I really didn't do much. For, uh, for these two, I mainly just cleaned them up. This cutting in of the side tanks was so uneven. Like, past me did such a bad job cutting these back. So... I just brought them back a bit more, try to make them, fl I try to line them up with the, where the wheel, where the splasher, the splasher hole ends, I tried doing that. This one, it's not as easy, because it's an RC per se, so I just bought it on here, because it's still a normal Thomas shell. Yeah, and I, I drilled, or no, I don't, I don't think I talked about this, but I, I had to do some cutting, because the wheels for this chassis were like the half ones. I had to like cut through the plastic housing and then just rip these out. Which kind of sucked. But nice thing is, how I said earlier, this chassis was like tilted when it was on flat. I, I think I got a plan. So I can have the driving wheel sit on the same spot. But for this, if I can get it in, all I have to do is just glue it a little higher than normal. Then it should be fine. Just don't, It shouldn't be too complicated. And I don't think I have to do any cutting. So that's nice. And a big thing, I got rid of the Percy Pistons for all of these. And, I mean, it's not that clean when you really look underneath it because it was a really difficult spot to cut in. But, I mean, it's I'm going to paint that black and you don't really see it from the low angle, so it'll be fun. I'm going to compromise on that because I don't want to scrape away like that. It's really complicated. Speaking of things that were horrible to scrape away at, uh, you know, this is the cleaner example. So, I cut the cab inward more. This was the only one I had to do it completely on. The other two I could just clean up a bit. But, you know, one thing I did was just, you know, the Jinties, their cabs are smaller than the side tanks. So I just kind of got a file and chipped away at it. I th I'm probably going to clean it up a little more while I'm doing the shaping, but overall it's going to look a bit like this. Uh, these, they're not perfect, honestly, but I don't, th that's, a, it was a really difficult thing to do. And it's just, I, I think they look okay. I mean, if I don't like it, yeah, I'm going to, I'm definitely going to fix it up but for now. I'm happy with how it looks. I don't want to cut away like that more. That was a pain. Yeah, but really nothing too difficult. And finally, the big thing you can see is I cut the fronts of the cab off. And that, I talked about that. Originally, I was going to cut all the way back to the window. But I've decided I think that's going to look way too short. Way too short. So I'm thinking I'm, I might cut them back a tiny bit more. I'm going to see how shaping goes. But just I think just like a little sliver is gonna make it look nice hopefully uh yeah and another thing i upon doing my research something that would probably help this out see this line on the smoke box i'm probably not gonna bring it this far but i'm thinking what if i or just i've seen people do this what if i uh extend the boiler to be on the smoke box a bit aka making the boiler longer therefore giving the ginty an illusion of length while still keeping the thomas proportions just, you know, bring, and I'd, I'd have to do some trickery here, but I'd basically 
Imagine this was the boiler until the line. I'd inch the funnel up a bit. So the smoke box would probably look really squished with where I marked it right there, so ignore that. But I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do something like that. I've seen some people do it and I like it. And uh, really the same thing applies to all of these guys. I I tried to get, I did my best to get the same proportions. Yeah. You know? Well yeah, I, I made sure to get the same proportions. I don't want these to be too inconsistent. Uh, it is, I can't really hold them well, but you, know, you see the uh, roughly same length. I tried, but you know I'll, I'll make adjustments during the shaping as seemed fit. But overall, this is going to be what they're looking like. So now I'm just going to get straight to what I'm going to do for the shaping. It's not going to be too hard. The approach is going to be very similar to my old ones. But for instance, I'm going to do the clean one here. Of course, fill in the cab. Got to get that. I, I want to add a little bit more to the bunker, like there, I believe the Jinty bunker, like around here, it slopes out a bit. Not a lot, but a tiny bit. I want to add that. Of course, fill in the empty spots right here. I'm going to really try and make that as clean as I can. I'm, I'm really hoping not, but part of me has to look at some reference photos, and I don't know if I have to reposition the dome. I, I hope not, but I'm going to see if I can get away with that. That might have to be something I have to cut off still. Yeah, it's really not that complicated. And, oh yeah, splashers. The uh, splashers or something. Yeah, uh, I mean, I might just do what I did before, source apart. But at the same time, I'm thinking I might make my own. Especially considering how I've been improving my scratch building skills. Because, you know, the Genesis, they have, a, like, this is here. They have really tiny wheel arches. Or splashers, I, I don't know. I, splashers is the proper term? Oh yeah, I'm going to say slap splashers. Yeah, they have really tiny ones, and I don't want to have to file these down with my bare hand. That's that's not the right thing. I don't want to file this down with my bare hands because that's dangerous. I don't rec I do not recommend doing that, guys. <clears throat> Definitely haven't tried that in the past. No, not, not a good idea. Not a good idea. All right. But yeah, I I got a plan in mind for this, and overall, I think they should be looking pretty good by the time the shaping's done. And oh, this guy, I'm gonna use some milliput, but I don't know what I did. But there's like holes, like just dents right here, like right here, here. I I messed up a bit while I was cutting this, like I was I was cutting with my uh, whatever this is called, rotor, uh, ro uh, 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 rotary, Dremel, Dremel. There we go. Like I was cutting here, right, a little bit of a tight spot, and this skimmed to the top of the dome, it chipped away at it a bit. I think I did it for all of these, but this was the one that actually got affected by it. But no, this one just needs some millipot fixing up. Overall, shouldn't be that bad. I'm not I'm not too worried about the shaping here. So with that, I'm just gonna get to it. Yeah. And with that, the, the shaping wasn't really that hard. <laughs> yeah, so it, it's a little bit after been a few weeks, but really these were pretty easy. I've just been busy, so this kind of stretched out, but Man, I think they look pretty good. Yeah. So, while it's a little bit of both, a lot was done. But at the same time, these definitely aren't as much as, you know, my recent few things. And so to kind of give a better view, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use this one. They're all the same. I have literally nothing different. So I'm just going to show this one off. And as you see, we got the classification here on the tank and tender. Not tender. Yeah, bunker or whatever. But, okay. In all seriousness, this, I'm really proud of these. So I'm going to kind of have to work my way around. First thing, I kind of kept the old wheel arch. Part of me really wanted to make it smaller, but I don't care. I just, I, this is the wheel arch. I'm not going to gripe over that much. Because one thing is with the Jinties, I think I said this before, but they kind of have, I thought they had tiny ones, but upon looking at photos, the splashers are a little bigger than I thought they were. So I'm just going to, I, I, uh, I just cut these off. No, no, no. I didn't cut these off of Henry. These were left over from an old project where I cut them off. So that was pretty good. Didn't didn't waste anything for all three of these. Yeah. And let's see. But yeah, uh, I'll, I'll work my way from the front back. So starting with the smoke box here, as you can see, I here uh, I'm gonna use with my uh, Thomas for reference. I'm gonna take the face off. It's crooked. That's bothering me. Uh, in the front, one thing you see, I cut under it. Yeah, because there they have a bit of a saddle going. Under, I'm pretty sure Thomas has this as well. I don't know. I just, you know, a little bit of a saddle underneath. Or the saddle's here, but then there's a gap underneath. I added that. And then these little parts, the little smoke box supports, like these right here. Added those. 
And one thing is, if you can see, I shortened the smoke box. You know, I, I got the uh, one boiler band, and you know, it's not as long. That's, I think that's pretty self-explanatory. I just put one strip here. And I used my old method of um, covering the, covering, okay, so I did my old method of using cardboard to fill in the spots that I cut off, like the big gap. But this time, I covered it with paper so you wouldn't see the cardboard being, like, all meshy, if that makes any sense. You just you just wouldn't see the cardboard when this is finally literally painted, which is something both my old JNT designs suffered from. So hopefully when painted, this should look a lot better. Yeah. And I repositioned the funnel, too. Uh, they're not really uh, tall, but one thing is that, you know, I tried to... Okay, this one, I had to do a lot of work with, but they are kind of tall funnels. Maybe slightly smaller than Thomas's. Because I repositioned them, I had to add a little milliput on the underneath to fix it up. But they're slightly taller because Jinty's they have long funnels, and I think I found the right height. Another, so I added handrails. That this was one of the last things I did. Like I just finished this today, added them here and here, yeah, and I think that's a really nice addition. Definitely adds a lot. And I I filled in this, of course, you know, pretty easy. I added the water caps right here. I think they're a pretty good detail. You know, this Thomas has them, so add them to the Jinties, give them their shape. Now for the cab, uh, I'll focus this. For all three of them, I'm going to move Thomas aside. I, of course, I filled in the front with a plate because I cut into the motor, yeah, right? You can take a surprisingly large amount with them that still lets them work. Like, you just can't cut to this pin right there. See that? That's like the limit. But no, I got it so I can just fit this over. But this this is literally the limit. I couldn't cut the cab back anymore. But it is it is shorter than a Thomas cab. Just by a little bit. Yeah, but it definitely helps. It definitely helps. But I covered it with cardboard. And for the um <clears throat> the firebox. So that was I cut out a piece and shaped it, right? Glued it on just the cardboard. Then once it was glued, I filled it in with Milliput modeling clay and smoothened it out. So that's how I got that look for all three. And this, I also did this today. The whistle and the safety valve. I, uh, I move, I'm trying to move from using Q-tip sticks, and now I'm moving, or now I'm using, uh, dang it, I did this in the last video, what are they called? Uh, toothpicks. Toothpicks. So I moved from, no, I'm used from, okay. I used to use, uh, <clears throat> what is it? Yeah, Q-tip sticks. Now I'm using the, uh, the wooden things, the the wooden thing. Why do I struggle with this? I did this in the last video. Toothpicks. There are toothpicks. 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 I gotta remember that. Yeah, I, I'm using toothpicks. They're slightly thinner, so they overall help with the vibe. But what I did, I uh, I super glued. I, I cut out a little like you see the little lip that brings got up or is the little raised up lip that I used did very similar method to this, but I super glued uh, two of those on top of it. Cut them down right. Bit of a pain. And for this, I just cut off one and super glued it on. Yeah, actually, I've been using super glue a lot more lately. Like with Diesel Tenon and uh, my uh, Class 25 from the last video, I used a bit of super glue. But <clears throat> the one thing, one funny thing with that, if I can find it, I don't know why I still have this and haven't thrown it out. But I had like three of these, right? See, these super glues? They're so cheap. They all super glued themselves shut. Like, okay, this is moving now, but yeah, that, that's super glued shut. It's like, this thing is cheap. But <clears throat> I went to Hobby Lobby yesterday and picked up some stuff. And I got this just little, I, I used to use testers a lot. No, in my early stages, I used to testers for painting. It looked awful. I don't recommend using testers paint for models. It's just, it's like too glossy, too, I don't know, sticky would be a word for it. You'd have to see it. But I, I have experience with this brand, right? But this super glue is actually pretty good. It's like, from what I get, this, this hasn't super glued itself shut with usage. So hopefully these are going to last. I got a five pack. And that's really not important. I just want to say I'm using super glue a bit more. So I'm being a bit neater without as much hot glue. Of course, hot glue is my main thing here. And moving back where I really used hot glue. This was before I got super glue. Or more super glue. But uh, this was such a pain. You don't understand. that These customs... While they're not hard, there's massive pains with this. So, <clears throat> uh, you see, the Jinties, they have like a little rack on the, or wire, whatever it's called, just a wire bit 
for the little railings. You know, Thomas would have these too, but I gotta think if I really want to do that when I maybe maybe revamp this guy. Really, actually, my Thomas, I'm pretty happy with him. Yeah, he holds up. But if I ever like change something, I might give him this or something similar. I gotta check. I think the E twos have that. But for that, paper clips. Paper clips have been my go to here, right? But uh, these were a pain because the thing is, I have to bend them just right to the right shape, and then I have to make them straight, which is a massive pain. Like I had to get uh, pliers and just keep pressing them down until I could get them to look not all wiggly and stuff. If I'm making sense here good but it's just this was such a pain to just get straight and bent the right way and then i had to glue it and one thing is specifically with hot glue i really don't recommend doing this but hot glue it doesn't like to work with metal because you know metal absorbs heat and cools down pretty fast so that works against my favor in getting the stuff attached and but yeah so for right here and right here i used uh just normal paper clips. But on the back, I literally used uh, just cardboard to hold these up. It, it'll work. I'm going to paint the silver anyway. It's just collapsing in on itself. Oh, great. Yeah, but hey, this was a pain. And I did it three times. Honestly, each each one getting a bit better than the last. This being the first, this being the second, this being the third. I'm pretty sure. But yeah, I'm honestly pretty proud of these. You know, one more thing that was a pain with this. When I was making the first one, this one. I, I put the wire on. I completely forgot about the bunker extension. So it, it was like, it was too far in. I cut it down at the wrong height. So I had to completely redo it with this in mind, which just overall sucked. Yeah. And one thing I did in terms of cutting, I, I did like a little indent right here, right? For the cab. Cause I don't like, I don't like painting on cab detail when I don't have to. I did this with Thomas, you know, it was a little cut in. It, it'll look nice at the end product. But really, that, that's it. I didn't do much. Oh, I filled this in too. That's one thing. And I cut these so I could fit the this. The thing is, I the motor, I think this one's not working. But I could fit a battery in here if I got the motor working. That's one thing. You know, with my customs, I don't really care about if they're motorized or, or not. But with stuff like these, where it's very much so possible. Like, I'm cutting down the motor, but still making it work. I want to try and keep it motorized. Of course, this guy... Uh, he won't be motorized because it's it's an RC Percy chassis. I can't really fit a motor in there easily. But something that'll be nice. If I ever, like, have a shot of him and I need him running, I can just... Boom. Because, you know, this is going to be my segue. Deliveries. I believe I already talked about this. But... So two of these guys, specifically, if I'm right, these two... No, these two are going to be in black. My OC here is going to be in just in matte black, nothing, LMS on the side. Star Hunter's OC here is going to be in BR lined black. Yeah, so both are just black, BR black, black, that kind of thing. Now this one, I completely forgot if I said what I was going to paint them. I'm not looking through 18 minutes of footage, honestly, right now. So I'm just going to re-say this. If I haven't, if I did, whoopsie daisy. He's going to be my Northwestern Jinty, right? So I want him in Northwestern colors. I was originally thinking blue. I like my Northwestern blue a lot. But then I'm like, no, I want to be quirky. Mainly it's just, I don't want a bunch of, I want to even it out a bit. And I thought, hey, who's made a green Jinty? You know? So I'm like, okay, I got, I, I got green stuff. You know, I want to, I want to do them in green. So yeah, my Jinty, I'm painting them in green. But this is where the struggle comes in. This is the Northwestern Green I have been uh, using, right? Uh, Anita's Shamrock Shamrock Green. I have grown to not like this green. See, I really, I think the shade fits among my Northwestern Blue. But something about it just does not sit right with me. It's just, I don't know if rich is the word, but it's just not... It's just a little too dark almost. Not not by a lot. It's like right, it's right on the line. It's just, if I could go a shade more vibrant, I think that's the word, vibrant. If I could just go a little bit more vibrant, it would be good. Right? So, like I said, I went to Hobby Lobby yesterday. Literally yesterday, because I really couldn't wait anymore. And green, a new green was something I really wanted to look for. 
And the one thing, they had like no greens on the shelves. Like all the greens were just almost empty. But I did leave with something. This one. I don't know what I was on, but I ended up getting lime green. I don't know what I was, what was going on in my head there. But this does not look anything similar to this. Eyebrow reference photos with me. This is too bright. Like, I thought, I, okay, I'm going to try it. But no, that's that's not going to look good next to these guys. So, I, I mean, this was when I got home and couldn't go back. So, I was at a loss, you know. I, I bought a new green, but it didn't work. This one, I really don't want to do this again. I, I would if I had to, which is what I was planning on doing at this point. I, I didn't want to, but yeah. But then I looked in my surprisingly vast paint bin, which for some reason I don't utilize as much as I should. And then, see, I have two of these. And I thought, I, I looked at these not too long ago, and I thought, okay, that's my Northwestern green, right? I'll need to find something different. I have two of these. And then I forgot, I marked what my Northwestern green was. So t today I looked into it, literally like just before I was recording, going to record this. And whole, whole, pardon my language, but holy guacamole, I, I might have found it. Here's the thing, I'm not sure. Because see, this is, this is that green. And this, if I can get in the light, it's, a, it's brighter. It's just slightly brighter. So I, I think I'm going to go with this. I, I'm, it's a bit of a journey, I know, this is clipped, this, this part of the video has been 13 minutes, but that's gonna be my green, I'm pretty sure, I'm gonna try it out, see what I like, if, if I'm gonna have to do this, if I don't like it, but for now, this, this hopefully will be just the, this saving thing of this project, a slightly lighter green, I completely forgot what I bought this for, too, because I, sometimes I go to Hobby Lobby and I'm like, okay, this looks nice. I think I could use this. And then I get it with my past horrible spending habits, which I've luckily gone over or soared over. But this, it's it's come back. This might have been for Peter Sam, but no, it, it, it helps. It helps. And I'm happy. I'm happy. Yes, yeah, so that's my paint tangent. But you want know to extend on that a little more. These guys, specifically Percy, because Percy is like m massive. Like this, this Percy, you know, it was it was based off of Adoc Productions Percy. If any of you don't know, and while while Adoc Productions Percy is very nice, I I can say that for sure. Something about mine, I just messed up. He's like too tall, tank's too big. It just I don't like him. But then, if you remember from two projects ago, oh that does not center. You got this guy, my OC Cole. If you can see where I'm getting at here, with the size difference, I'm not gonna say much more. But you know, Percy might be coming up pretty soon, and the customs in the making. And I'm thinking, alongside, I'm gonna be working on Henry as well. If not, it'll be I work on Henry and my old shape Henry because I want I want to revamp all the green engines. Henry, I like his model, but mainly the tender needs to be redone. The the red at the bottom wouldn't be there. Tender shape could be a bit better. It's overall, you could just use that, and overall, our repaint would be nice. I have a few minor upgrades, but overall, I am happy with Henry's shell, at least. I just, if I'm going to do this repaint, I want to do it to all my stuff. In Old Shape Henry, I plan on revisiting him, revisiting him, because I have some different stuff in mind for my uh, shape for him. Percy, I just, I think using that as a base would be really fun. So, I'm looking forward to that, you know? So, expect that sometime in the future. I really can't say when. But yeah, just, okay, that, I, I know I'm spending a lot of time on this, but simply, I think there's going to be a green I'm happy with, and that I'll be fixing some stuff up in the future with. So, with that, I can really get to the painting now, but first, I realized I didn't really show these guys off, so I'm just going to kind of do some, I'm going to do like a little 360 for each of them. This one, I don't know why. I know it's a paint splattered Thomas. Young me was dumb and painted and ruined this anyway. So now I'm just rolling with it. I wouldn't have painted this now if he was in a decent condition. Please know that. But now it's I'm just going to make him useful. But I don't know why, but this guy looks really good for some reason. I don't know if it's just uh, the paint breaking things up because they're the exact same shape. But it, he just looks good for some reason. Just like this one out of the batch is probably my favorite. I, I really don't know why. But he's looking good. And with my boy, my friend, Star Hunter, right here. Pretty good. Not going to be motorized, but I'm going to, you know, I could plop the shell on there. Yeah, with that, they're really the same engine. Nothing different. Like, I was considering some Jinties have, like, a hole right here. 
for like oiling or sand either one i don't know but i was thinking about adding that but looking over the numbers for all engines jinty i don't even know truthfully but i'm just gonna go with no uh none of them would have that hole so they're all like the exact same design so the just carbon copies you know so with that i'm gonna get to painting finally <laughs> so let's just let's get to that this is gonna be fun i think so with that the base coats are done so i use that lightly mainly because i am very tired of these guys right now yeah so overall just they, they look presentable so i'm just gonna record this now because i'm like what's that worth first i'm gonna go over these guys all right uh just matte black it's really simple as that and one thing is if you can see i did the gloss black as well i just went straight forward doing all that because you know these guys just matte black gloss black well gloss for the roof though i might change that back to mac matte but i i just knocked it all out at once you know shouldn't that that good thing it's a good thing you know and i actually you know I know I'm sounding like I hate the world here, but I actually love these so much. Like, I don't, like, the, I don't, I, look, Star, I know you're watching this. I am sorry, but part of me just really loves having two in unlined black. Like, it just looks so cool. But no, I, I'm painting this one into BR line black. Womp womp. <laughs> but no, it, 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 it's gonna look cool in the end, I'm sure. But just seeing, t I don't know, I've never made two of the same engine. At least not for a long, I mean, I have, just not for a long time. Like, last one was with Donald and Douglas. Yeah, but no, just having two in the exact same livery, side by side, is just so cool. And I gen I think I got the ginty shape down for this. Like, I'm, I'm proud of these. Yeah. But, uh, you know, I'll, I'm, here, I'll do a little 360 for this one. It's the same for both. But it's, it looks really complete with just the base coat. Yeah. But, uh, you know, one, one, I had some trouble with all three of these. Something, two things that I really overlooked, which I want to talk about that for a bit. This and this. So, as you may know or see, or have you, you as you may have seen from when I was, uh, doing the shaping for these guys. I had a big slab of paper all around right here, and this was just hot glue to fill in the gap right back here. And of course, when I painted it, <clears throat> that, uh, you could A, see the lip, like you could clearly, clear as day, see the paper, like, raised up from here, like there was the big lip. From here you could see where the, uh, you know, the glue separated and made it all sm smoshy, squishy, yeah. What I, how I fixed that, it was a massive pain. What I did was, and don't, don't do this. This was just me, uh, dare I say, messing around and finding out. You know, you know how the saying goes, mm -hmm. But, uh, I don't do this. I added more paint. Yeah. So what I did, like, like right, for right here, I laid it on kind of thick. Yeah, I did this a few times, not just, not, don't just like, uh, don't do this, but I, I didn't like pour it all on in one go, I just laid some paint on kind of thick, let it dry, then sanded it down, did it again, sanded it down, until there wasn't a line. And, I mean, it worked. Next time, though, if I ever do something like this again, I'm gonna either, A, see if I can, like, use a filler or something, don't know if that's a good idea with paper, though, before I paint it, or put paper across the entire boiler to even it out. Yeah, I, I really gotta work on my methods, I've been realizing, like, I I need to pick up, like, some sort of filler, but the only, like, fill, model, model fillers I've been seeing, I read the warning label, and it looks like it's gonna kill me if I even look at it, so that scares me a bit, but I, I need to up my game a bit, I know that, but for now, I'm using, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking around it, and it's kind of working, but I mean, if, just simply, if you could imagine it, you could see the paper lipping up right here, and you could clearly see where the hot glue is like you can still see it now i gotta fix that up still but yeah I, I wouldn't recommend doing it it's just i didn't think about that before i started painting these and i just had to go with it you know but i mean overall it, it worked out it actually worked out there's it's a, it's a little weird when you look at it from the side like you can see the little divot whatever there yeah but i mean when you see it at an angle it's it's fine it's fine i don't want to work on these 
Oh, oh shoot. <laughs> but now, uh, for the, ignoring that, this for the star of the show, Green Jinty. Do not call us Oliver, please. I'm going to say this now. This is not Oliver. And yes, I know. I know. That I'm, when I make Oliver, I'm going to use a me- that method very similar to this. Just imagine I shorten him down, more Great Western parts. But yeah, I know. He kind of looks like Oliver. It, it, he won't look like Oliver in the end, though. Just please bear, bear with me here. So I want to say, I love this green, but I also hate it so much. Yeah. So, simply put, uh, I'd use the same method for these guys as this, and to, like, sand it down. But this green, this is such a good Northwestern green. Bring my Tums here. Bring my Percy. It's not a big difference, but it looks so much better. I genuinely really like this green a lot more, and it pairs good with them. But, but... And the thing is, well, one thing is, I use deco art for these guys, and I like it. I like deco art. It is a good brand, <laughs> but it, it it clumps, and I I don't mean the paint the it, the paint no 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 the paint it lies on it lays on good you know I I t- it takes a few coats but it it applies well, but when I go to sand it, it likes to rip up and peel. Yeah, so for here. It, it was really just a pain. Mostly I had to just be careful with it, but I, I got it to work. But it's for these bits. These bits right here in the corners. The corners. I am going insane. I'm sorry. It's kind of late. But no. So I'd like, I did add a little bit, fill it in. I really shouldn't have. I don't know why I'm still doing this. But then it's like, it likes to branch out like this part sticks out. You know, the paint just kind of layers on it sticks out so i try and send that down then it rips it off i'm like okay maybe i can like scrape it off no and it just starts peeling the entire thing yeah and i mean i got it to where it looks good i don't think i'm gonna deal with that again for now so thankfully i think that's main hurdle main hurdle but then there's a chassis so for all these guys i'm working on the chassis right i'm just kind of going ahead with i'm painting them black for this it'll have red on the side but I masked this off, right? I used masking tape. I, I put the masking tape on. I paint over. I didn't think about this. I peel the masking tape off. It starts peeling the paint off. The paint, like this, it starts peeling all, almost, well, not all of it, but it starts like, it's, you know, like a car wrap, how some cars get wrapped. It was like that. It looked like that. You know, when Lightning McQueen gets the wrap in Cars 3. There, for the, for uh, easy terms for people who don't know. That is... That's what happened. The the wrap was like peeling off. Yeah. So I'm still fixing that up. But I mean, this paint, I don't get, it's, I'm going to be using this as my Northwestern green in the future. I've already decided. It's, I'm too far into this now. <laughs> yeah. But I'm going to have to overcome that. I don't know. It, it might have been, I just needed to let the paint set a bit longer. I'm used to acrylic paint, paint drying quickly, but I don't know. It It sucks. It honestly sucks. I'm gonna, I just gotta work around it. I, I know how to work around it. I just don't need to, I don't mask when I'm painting green. I don't mask the green on. I don't use masking tape when I'm painting the green on there. I said it. Yeah, but I, I, I just need to go slow. I just need to go slow. Ah, yeah. Okay, I know, I know I'm going crazy here, but I, I genuinely love this. Like when it's on the chassis, it looks so good. I'm, 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 here, I'm just gonna, I'll put it on the chassis, I normally tie this stuff till the end, but, he, it looks so good, like, I, I, I was thinking, I was gonna do blue at first, and I'm like, no, I wanna be, I wanna do something different, I wanna make Jinty green, yeah, and I, th- I honestly, I'm really happy with that, I think that was the right choice here, yeah, okay, so I've, I've, uh, gone crazy, said my piece, you know, but now, uh, this is where I'd say I'm doing the lining, but I'm not doing the lining yet. So, I'm, we're doing it differently for this episode, and maybe for future ones, I want to see. But, instead of doing the lining, I'm going to be doing that final details, or what should I say? that The details. You know, picking out the details, and they're not the final ones anymore, but... Yeah, for that would be just painting the sides red, gold whistles, maybe doing out the windows... Maybe just the boiler band at the front, though I'm going to hold off in the lining, bits of silver, just all the accent pieces. But, uh, <clears throat> now pardon me. Yeah, I, my main reason for not doing the lining yet is for this guy. I'll explain that when I'm done with all that. 
But just know, uh, the lining will be done. This guy and this guy, or no, this guy and this guy will have lining. This guy won't. But yeah, I'm gonna apart from any printed stuff, I'm just gonna do the final details right now. Or not final details. I'm just gonna do the details. Yeah, I'm just gonna get straight to the details. Then finally the lining and a few decals and then the weathering. Yeah. So with that, I'm just gonna get to it. I I'm. I'm going a little crazy, but I, I do genuinely like these guys. They look really good. They look really good. <clears throat> and with that, I am a liar. So, I see it. Here's the thing with these custom videos. So, I don't edit much, right? I sometimes will add a little thing, but overall, this video is not about editing. It's more about me talking. So, the last scene should play out in full with me saying, oh, I'm gonna work on the final details, right? And that's not the case. I found that working on the final details first is actually pretty hard because you don't have the lining as a base. So instead of doing the final details first, I did both at the same time. <laughs> yeah. So here's the thing. These videos are getting pretty long, right? I'm gonna organize these. And you know, it's, I mean, this, I'm going to leave this up to people, mainly. I'm going to, I don't think I'm going to do like a poll, but I want to see some opinions. So please comment, you know, that kind of stuff. If you think this is a good format, but I'm thinking videos are getting longer. So what if I smush the two together, lining and the final details in one video section, right? I know that's a, a large chunk at once, but, you know, it's, I really do have to cut down a bit. I won't lie here, but... Yeah, I'm gonna try and keep that part a little short, but just, yeah. So, I know, well, the thing that sucks about this is I just spent all that time talking, like, oh, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do this first, I'm gonna do this first, I'm gonna switch it up. And just, uh, ignore that. Yeah, so. Yeah, it's, 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 just, happen it's just happening. So, just, I'm gonna if I say this for the final time. Let me know if you like this format or not. I can say this might stick for a video or two, but... Personally, I keep this. Down if people want to see the lining section and the final detail section in two separate sections, just let me know and I'll take that into account. Yeah. All right. So two minutes talking on this. I'm gonna talk about the actual customs. So I'm gonna go from left to right. First, we got the LMS one, right? Now, <clears throat> uh, Apollo, uh, Apollo cheese. Yeah, I am. I really love these guys. So. I want to talk decals first, right? So LMS, you know, I did that before, or I've done decals like this before, with the number 16759. Not really based off of an engine in particular. I can say that this is just the number I chose. And, you know, this is meant to be just an LMS style Genty with the difference of one gold boiler band in the front. Now, I have done this in the past. Well, actually, literally, I think, what, last video, with this guy, right? LMS livery, LMS number, and a gold roller band. Only difference is I didn't do the silver handrails and I didn't do gold windows. Thank goodness I didn't do that for this one. I'll talk about those later. But yeah, kind of the style I'm going for. Like a mix between an actual livery with a, some light creative interpretation I'd like to label that as, right? Chassis, nothing special. These are a matte gray, and the running board's a glassy gray. Or, no, matte black, glassy black, yeah. And, uh, sorry. Uh, buffer beam, that's red, black buffers, black coupling, same in the back. It's really a simple paint job, not much to say about it. Gold really pops. I like it a lot. I think, honestly, it's turning out really good. Now, for the windows, I cut... Uh, I'm gonna wait actually to talk about this, but I cut them all in individual pieces. This isn't the model show it because it's uh, you know, black and on black, you can't really see it. But next, I will go to the second one Star Hunter, or my my friend Star Hunter's Jinty Star. Yeah, so this guy right here, I'm gonna get a chassis, you know, the chassis is a bit different, you know, it's an RC one, it's gonna free roll. You know, just work with that as I could. But for this guy, 
uh, you know, first one in the list with lining. Double lining at that. And holy crap, the masking tape is paying off because the past few projects, like these little tent, I guess, was an example, but I haven't really been using masking tape for these. You know, um, toaster, that was a nightmare, you know, but this is a flat surface. I was able to mask it. Now, had some hiccups, yeah, but I got the hang of it. I really think I've gotten my, yeah, arm around how to use masking tape, and man, it makes the process so much faster. Although, these videos still take a while, because I, you know, I've got, I've got things going on, but, you know, it's just, it really makes the process a lot easier. And, yeah, I, I think I finally know how to work with masking tape, which makes me happy, you know, having to measure it, because... I was having some issues, like I had to redo this side or the side for this guy completely, but I'll go into that later. But yeah, double lining. Pretty proud with how this came out. And I'm not gonna stress over that too much, but the number, 47667. You know, uh, not my character. I'm not I don't know the lore as much, but I'm I'm doing a little bit, no, I'm not gonna say what. But you, know, you get the late BR crest on both sides, though I noticed and the supplies to something else in the future, you know. So I was printing the decals. I completely forgot. This might apply only, to, I assume this applies to both the late and early crest, but the line is supposed to be facing forward on both sides, like for, forward this way, forward this way. It faces backwards this way, but I didn't want to reprint the entire sheet and I already put the logos on, so I don't want to deal with it. Uh, we're, so we're gonna, we're gonna ignore that, right? It's, it's not there. No one comment about that. And oh boy, yeah, I have paint all over my fingers. I was just painting the wheels. <laughs> yeah. But I'm gonna talk about the windows. So if you cannot tell, I cut every single one of those individually. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. Six plus six, that's 12. 12 plus six is 18. So I had to cut 18 pieces for these projects alone, right? <laughs> I mean, good thing is I could just cut one in the right shape and then glue, put, I, the way I do it, I get like the one shape as I want it, then I glue it on top of another slab of paper with hot glue, just a tiny dollop, right, to stick it on there, then I cut it in the shape of that piece, then I'm, I put the hot glue gun on top, and then so I can separate them without tearing anything, and that makes an exact clone of the part I need, so I can then make a bunch without having to measure them all, if that makes any sense, yeah. But, the thing is, I'm so glad I didn't have to line out the windows on that, because lining the windows for these was a nightmare. Doing it for all 12 of these parts, right? I'm doing math in my head. Uh, yeah, but no, it was just, uh, it took a lot longer than expected due to the uh, gold trim. But man, it pops out, and I really love how it turned out. It makes it look even more like a Jinty, I can say. Yeah, but, like, I mean, it's, these are two just black liveries, so, you know. Nothing too, too big on them. Oh, I almost forgot. Well, you got the gold safety valve, but that's about it. You got the bunker. But I almost forgot. I drilled some holes. <laughs> so this guy doesn't have it, but these two. So these two Gen T's with their numbers are the ones that had, I think it's either for oil or sand. Yeah, I don't, I'm not sure. It's one of the two. But the holes right here, right? These Gen T's would have them. So I drilled those in. And on the inside, I put a slab of cardboard, right? So it would seem, you know, imagine my finger is a running board. It just seems like it's, it, it gives it more depth. With, because I put a glossy black on the inside and the cement on the outside. It makes it look like there's a deeper hole than it is. But yeah, I drilled a hole. Both sides look good, right? So, uh, oh, sorry, I'm going a bit slow. Throat's a bit sore today, but I want to get this done. Yeah. <laughs> All right. But, uh, yeah, I'm pretty proud with both of these guys, I can say. And that's really it to go over with the painting. Or, or the, yeah, the painting for this guy. Now, finally, out of the three, the J-Man himself. The one that's a different color. Yeah, this is the one that's really blowing me away with how it looks. And first, I'm going to go over the chassis. So, of course, it's just a red all around, right? Silver buffers, black coupling. That's pretty easy. Uh, black running board top. You know, got the little lamp irons. I gotta make some lamps for these guys out of milliput or something. Because I need to record some videos. And I want to do lamp codes. But yeah, I, yeah, I just... Lamp irons, yeah. Yeah, you know, not much to say. 
But for these splashers, these were kind of a nightmare to paint because this green paint doesn't like cooperating so much. And masking it off, I, I put masking tape on the floor, right? And then I put painted the greens to not get the seam on the floor. I peeled it and the paint started pulling off with it like rubber. See, I, I had to work around it. And what I did is I painted the green, then masked the green off and painted the black. That worked. But um, it's, yeah, that's that. Another thing that's kind of hard as hell. Sorry, I'm getting a little gibberish here. Uh, there's a red line underneath the gold. This is in the style of my engines, and I think Gordon might be the best example here. To where, yeah, this shows up a lot better. You have the red line, right? Then the gold accent piece on the top. This one carries the same thing. Put on doing this through most of my engines, and I just think it's a neat feature. Yeah, but that's it for the chassis. I want you to say on this guy. Yeah, that's, this is. I don't really have to talk about the shape because they're all like exactly the same, except for this one doesn't have the hole. Yeah. I can say, you know, I said I had the issues with my uh, old green, right? Okay, let's put them side by side. This is the old green and this is the new green. I love this one so much more. Though it can be a pain in the butt to cooperate sometimes. I, I'm going to keep using it. I like it a lot. Yeah, it just suits the shade. And it does not look like Oliver to what some people have been saying. Okay. I just, I, some, some stuff that's been going on. Yeah. But, uh, let's see, what, what else can I talk about? So, yeah, unlike the other two, silver handrails, right? The NWR, which I managed to make the prints look okay on this one, but I really want to move away from, like, printer paper, you know, for the decals. Because uh, I just hate how they, like, you can see the paper lines, you know? It's, it's bugging me. But at the same time, I hate drawing numbers so much, or numbers and letters. And I just, you know, I want to, if I can find a workaround, because I don't want to paint them, but I still want to print them, because I like how the printed looks, just I hate how the paper bulges out. My idea for this is, I want to experiment with, like, those printer paper water slide sheets to where you can make your own. Now, I've not heard the best things from these. But I'm saying, like, I want to, I just want to buy some cheap sheets, test it out, see if it looks good. If it works, I'd like to use them in the future, but I'm not going to trust those. It's just, as of now, i got to deal with these. But I, I'm trying to come up with ideas on what alternatives I can use, because it does kind of bug me. But from a distance, it looks good. I can say that for sure. And one thing you may notice, well, I don't know if you'd notice, because... I don't, I don't, I haven't done this on, this is technically, wait, this is technically my first, like, kind of Northwestern engine that's not full on OC. I, that, well, not really. Like, you could say this is the one from the illustration, you could say it's not, but, you know, this is the one where it's not necessarily a character, you know? So this is my first, my, I wouldn't say my take, it's just my interpretation. I don't even know the word, just, this is me adding a Jinty to my Northwestern fleet. And this comes with the issue of, I don't know what number to give them. So, the number will go right here, right? You know, I think the thing I was talking about here is like, how on we're not going to bed. I uh, no, shoot, not a good idea. Uh, I don't fall. Rose, Rosie, Rose. Uh, the NWR is on the tank, number is on the cab, right? He needs to have a number on his cab, but no number. The thing with that is, I don't know what I want to number him yet. I'm slowly thinking in my universe I'm building here, what number do I want to give them? I don't know yet. I gotta really weave everything out. But my thought is when I do get it settled, I just print it out, put it on there, do the work. It shouldn't be too hard. It's not work be working the entire mile, it's just putting the number on. Yeah. So that'll come in its own time. We'll have to see. I'm, I might give an update on that, but probably not. You'll just maybe see it in a shot of something. I don't know. But for now, it's just uh, fun until I come up with something. But yeah, look, you got uh, the silver, whatever it's called, the thing, the thing, the midget, the thing, the midget. Yeah, the uh, hand, the railing, the coal railing, whatever it's called. Yeah. But no, this guy, you'll you'll see him once he has his like chassis on and jump. But it is a looker, I can tell you that. A you know, single single boiler made in the front. And I'm just proud of this guy, really. Yeah, so, hmm, that's really all, to, oh, one more thing, so, this is barely going to be visible, 
but when I have a motor shoved in here, I just want to make it like a little thin. So, oh, dang, it's not showing up on camera, but I gave him that beige interior that some engines have right here, and it's going to be very minuscule, but just a sliver what might be noticeable. It's, it's just a little detail I wanted to include it. It's something that is going to be hard to see, but I wanted to do it. It's got a little light interior. I like it. Now, uh, let's see. Yeah, I'm going to organize these guys. And I think that's all I really have to cover. So, I want to send through these guys. With that, I'm going to get straight to the weathering and the matte clear coat. But before I do, I want to say this. I'm upgrading my game a little bit. Yeah. So, okay. The thing is, before I had this thing for coal. Only coal, right? And here's the thing. I'm showing this on screen right now. I really don't recommend it. It is so strong. Like, I've had issues where I put too much weathering on the engine, and I just didn't know how to fix it. Right? But, from what I've seen from other people who model with this, it's a lot more manageable, and I have some more options, right? I can get a little bit more creative. I'm going to mess around with it. I might resort to using this a time or two. I don't like it, but... I don't know. If I ever need to do something that can be a bit wasteful with, I don't know. But overall, I'm stepping up my game. So with that, I'm going to get to the weathering and clear coat right now. Ho, ho, ho. All right. I'm, I'm loving these. All right. So first, I'm going to go with the one where the... I'm gonna, oh, I'm just going to get right into this. I'm going to start with the one where the weathering and clear coat were probably the least done. You know what? I'm going to start with this, actually. Uh, where did I put it? Oh yeah, so the new weathering powder, right? I'm a little A on it, right? My main thing is, like, I'm just, I'm still figuring it out. I didn't really read it. I just kind of started using it. It's not cooperating all that much. It's a little hard to. But I can say the rust feature is definitely helping me out. So I'm going to be using that. But mainly for, like, the coal dust, I think I might use my old one. Yeah, I know for a fact I'm going to be using this in the next project. I'll be bringing it up then again. But, yeah. So, with that, I was talking about what I did. Well, it wasn't too much running board. You know, just a little bit of a cool dust on the buffer beam. Not much on the sides. Let's see, did I... I almost forgot. Yeah, with the rust, it's really hard to... I don't think you'll, you won't be able to notice it. But I tried to do a little bit of a dirt kicking up on the frames with the rust feature. Yeah, right here you might be able to... It, it's really hard to notice, but it adds a little cake when you're looking at it in person. I can say that. Now, for this guy, um, really nothing. Yeah, I didn't really work do much. Yeah, because, I mean, it's black on black. Oh, yeah, I tried to make dirty the uh, gold boiler band a bit. Made it a bit more, you know, just... It's just sooty. I just covered it in soot, basically. That's all I really did for this. So, not much to cover for that. Now... For a star right here, the second GMT of the bunch. Once again, you know, uh, did some cold set, went a little tiny bit heavier. And, uh, sorry, oh, one moment. So I had some smoke behind the chimney. And, you know, just a little bit on top of the uh, dome, the dome. You know, a little bit on the uh, firebox. A lot near the uh, bunker. I'm thinking that was pretty nice. You know, just kind of went lightly across the tanks kind of top down try to make it look a little heavier on the front but you know it's, it's not too noticeable like a little heavier on the front a little lighter on the back yeah i kind of just went consistently with the weathering and i like it so i'm really i i know i'm saying this for like every clip but i really start trying to not drag it out this time i know this might go around an hour run time when i haven't checked but yeah with this i'm gonna get straight to finally putting it all together you don't know how long it's been for me I am really excited to get these guys put together because I've been, you know, I've been doing little test fits and man, they look good. So with that, here we go. And with that, they're all done. Oh boy, this is so nice. I, I'm really happy with these guys. So I'm going to jump right into it and start showing them off. And I'm going to start with the most simple one of the bunch, the normal LMS era Jinty. Now, first thing I want to say here is the face, right? It's just blank. The, the reason for that is I haven't designed a face yet, right? 
I want to for when I start doing something because this I'm just gonna a little hint here. This might be for a little thing I'm gonna be working on in the future. I need to design a face, but I want to wait for that, you know, because I'm not great at designing face. I mean, I'm I think I'm finally getting the hang of my style, but I I don't want to make a bunch of new faces just yet for OC characters. I prefer to wait until I have to show them off. And you know, like recent projects, I've been doing smoke box stories, right? So I thought, why not try something different and just do a blank face sheet, you know? That was my kind of idea for that. But yeah, I, I mean, that doesn't take down the look for me. I honestly, I think it kind of looks nice in an aesthetic way. Yeah, but I, I really like this guy. I'll do, I'll do a little zoom around, but yeah, I really like the jinty shape for this. Like how I cut the cab back a little bit. Like, sure, it's slim. Like compared to uh, my Thomas here. It's just by a tiny, teeny bit, but it helps. It really helps the look. It helps make the tanks look longer. helps the cab fit more in scale. I can, I can make the boiler look longer with how I put the, or I shorten the smoke box down by moving the uh, boiler more forward. It's just, I'm really happy with how the proportions look on this. And I mean, like, when you really think about it, it is kind of shifted back for the tanks on the chassis, but I don't care. It's, it's Trackmaster. It's the best I'm going to get with the uh, chassis spacing restrictions. But yeah, I am super happy with how he looks. He got the windows, the gold safety valve. I don't know. This one was definitely the simplest to paint, of course. But man, I just, I'm a fan of just a plain black livery. That's, I don't know, one thing I like. But it's just good. I like it a lot. Not too much to say for this guy. But, uh, you know, next... We'll show off the one of my dear friend, Star Hunter. Now, for Star here, I'm, I'm really happy with this. So with the weathering, you got the little uh, kind of rusted on the water caps. You got the BR logo only facing forward on one side, which I'm not going to fix because I don't care at this point. The number of 47667, both sides. Gold on the windows, which really helps them pop. And the face... This face actually was not designed by me. This was made by Star himself. And, well, while I'm thinking, well, we talked about it, and I'm probably going to do my own take on the face eventually, I didn't want to have to design a new face. I was a little lazy. So, yeah, I just used the one he made. And, yeah, here it is. Here's Star. And it's like, holy moly. I mean, like, the double lining here, I'm really proud of that. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, I feel like I covered the whole design process pretty well throughout the video, so I can't say much. But oh, here's one thing. So with this one, it's different than the other two. You just pull it off, because this is the RC chassis, so like a Percy. And what I did was, it kind of it's kind of janky, but I glued the pins in uh, for the front wheels. Because one thing with this, it used to sit, it was either like slanted this way or this way, because of the front wheels. But I had to destroy the housing unit to even get these out like the thing that held them in because it was just i could not angle it right to get it out so i had to destroy them so i glued it in and tried to just get the height right and i mean it looks good i mean it free rolls really well because it uses the last half of the old block i had to cut off the front to fit the new shorter space in here but uh, yeah it's, this one rolls pretty smooth I'm, I'm happy i fixed the issues because the chassis here i thought it was going to be a pain to put back together but no it was actually pretty straightforward yeah you know, I'm really happy with these guys' shape. Like, I, I went through, like, this is my third iteration of my JNT design, and man, I'm I'm satisfied. I don't think I need to change much about it. Like, you know, through my videos, I've always had a section where I talk about the thing I don't like about the models. But for this, I mean, if I had to do anything, it would be maybe shorten the splashers a bit, but at the same time, I kind of have to, so these can clear, so the wheels can move without hitting anything. But I mean, no, it looks good. Just I'd maybe shorten the splash use down a tad if I could achieve that. And they have a, I don't know what it is, but they have like mainly a, a kind of gold thing right here that runs into the boiler. If you know, I'll put a picture of it on screen. I'd add that, but I didn't really want to uh, fiddle with that in the space. But I'll probably maybe add it in the future if I'm ever bored and not working on models, which is impossible because I'm constantly working on something because these guys take forever. Well, actually, no. These guys, I actually completed them pretty quickly. 
However, just I've been busy with life and junk. <laughs> you know, that's what's really slowing down videos nowadays. Like when I do a free time, I'm just playing a game or something. You know, that's how it is. And it's just, you know, life's been busy. And I can't work on these guys like I used to. But man, I'm, I'm making sure to put as much work as I can. That's the thing. But yeah, these honestly, they weren't that hard to make. You know, I'm satisfied with how they look. Like, they don't look like a normal Thomas. Right? It's just a Thomas and Percy chassis, but I cut off the Percy piston. You know, made it not look like a Thomas. And I'm satisfied. And now, for the one that pops the most of them all. My Northwestern Gen T. Now, I'm going to talk about the thing first. This guy has a face, unlike that the other guy. This one is one I wanted to design for the video, because it's not really important to wait to show it off. And I'm happy with it. Now, the thing is, my face is in the past. I don't have any examples with me. Hang on. Let's see. Uh, I'm standing up right now. What's a... Uh... Murdoch. Murdoch. Yeah, I've had a clear base on what to do for the face, because, I mean, truthfully, when I make a face, I kind of just go over an existing character's face. I'm not... I'm good with 3D modeling art. I'm not good when it comes to drawing art. Yeah, so normally I use references for the face. And while for this one I did, I used a bit of Arthur. The mouth and cheekbones are completely just me kind of doodling around. And I rounded off the nose. So, I mean, it's half... half Arthur, I mean, I used Arthur for, like, the base to where to cut out the eyes and junk. The eyes and the nose. But I, I, made, I adjusted the eyes shape. Like, made them a bit more narrow. Adjusted the, or made my own eyebrows. Rounded off the nose and mouth. But overall, I'm pretty happy with it. This is kind of the one where it's technically an OC face that I'm actually pretty proud of. Because if I grab Daniel's model, or Daniel train, where the lamp fell off and I accidentally damages the face. Uh, it's... It's showing its time, and I do need to upgrade it a bit. Yeah, I'm just going to stick the lamp back in here because it does not... Okay, it does not want to stay on. All right, he's going back up. Yeah, and I need to upgrade some of my old faces. But with this guy, I think I really honed my style down. And if you haven't noticed, one thing about it is the face pops a bit more now. I'm trying something new. So if I take this off... Hey, there we go. A little uh, a cheese pull on the blue tack. I have a slab of cardboard behind it, right? This does two things. A, the face is more flat now. It doesn't bend or something, and I can't damage it as easy. The other thing is, if I can't drop it, I curled it around. Like, I printed off the face, and I the edges of it, I put around. If my camera could focus, I put it around the cardboard. So instead of just being a flat face it's still a flat face but now it has a uh, 3d element to it which really does help the face pop a bit, bit more and yeah just i really like it and you know uh for star here i would have done it with this and i did try and i'll post a photo of it yeah uh with how star designed this face nothing nothing bad about it but simply put it didn't i mean i adjusted i made this with the having the face round off in mind but since this was made for the uh, the old 2D style, it, it kind of looked, uh, what's the word, lobotomized, I guess. <laughs> you know, it just, it was like, the eyebrows were like peeking over the edge. It just didn't, it didn't work for this one well. But I mean, that's just, I could have fixed it. I could have just made the face smaller, but I didn't think about it. We had nothing wrong with the face. Just simply, it didn't work for that style. And, you know, actually, another thing is, this guy has one alternate face as of now. This one. A little, a little laughing one. And if you can guess what this is based off of, it's it's based off of the one from that one illustration with the Jinty from the Railway series where he's with, with Tom and I say, like, ha ha, you're, you're dead, you you died, you know? It's that kind of thing. And, you know, nothing too simple, just I am uh, narrowed the eyebrows a bit, made them point down, did the uh, eyes closed. And, that, and, you know, the mouth is inspired off of that too, off of this one. And that's where I, the cheekbones and the mouth is where I took the inspiration off of, actually. But that, I did freehand it, you know? Or free mouth. Yeah. Just, I'm, I'm, I'm happy with this face. I think it looks really good. You know, I'll keep this one on for the rest of the video, because I like it. Yeah. And I'll talk about the style here. So you got the new Northwestern Green that I will be using from now on. A lot more brighter than my old one, which I... I mean, it was okay. Like, Henry, it probably works the best on, but... 
I don't know, something about it just felt a bit drab, I guess. But this new one, it's a lot more, it's a bit, just a tiny bit more vibrant, and it works. I like it a lot better. And well, here's the thing. I, I think I've already mentioned this, but I want to re, okay, I want to rework a lot of my old Northwestern engines. Like, Thomas is the one that I can probably get away with keeping, as is. Maybe just like a bit of a touch-up, like there's a paint chip here. Maybe some cold windows instead. But... And Henry, I'm happy with Henry's shape. I need to redo the tender, especially not to have the stupid running board thing on the bottom that doesn't exist on an actual black five. I don't know why I did that. But that, like here, I'm really happy with his shape. He just needs a repaint. Percy. Percy is going to be getting a brand new model, I'm hoping, very soon. Because uh, two videos ago, Cole here, I want to do it really similar to this. Except for instead of, just imagine, like, this exact shape. But instead of the, uh, this, uh, what's he called? I, uh, what's it called? Cole, Cole is a, not a Hunslet, not a Hunslet. He is a Andrew Barkley Oforo. You know, the, instead of the Andrew Barkley, uh, saddle tank here, I'd have it be the, you know, the Percy one with the sticking out. Probably a slightly longer, but overall, I want to use, like, this kind of style. Now, I don't think that's going to be for a couple of videos but still i want to do it maybe within the year we're gonna see how long the other customs take yeah but i mean if i i don't like how the green looks on him like he's too tall that's the issue with this guy i'm gonna complain about him real quick look how tall he is i want to make him smaller i want to do the new thing but th i want to do this new green because man it looks good it works really well all right now i'm gonna move these guys out of the way uh here's one more comparison with thomas i really like it and yeah, so, and I'm just, uh, apologies for the sniffles, if you're hearing them, it's allergies, I'm just allergies, you know, yeah, but I'm just going to continue here, and I'm so happy with how this looks, you know, I was originally planning to make this jinty in my NWR blue, but I'm really, I'm happy, because I got the thought, what if I go funky and make them green, and holy crap, I really like how it looks green, the green really works, I like the kind of heavy weathering on the boiler, uh, I did the black walls on the wheels. I, I was going to think, I thought about doing it without, but I, I did a little test fit without the black sides because I, I didn't do that until like the very end, like with the weathering. And I just, I like it better. It looks better. You got the red side around too. And it's, yeah. And one thing is he does, all right, well, he skips a bit and he's loud because A, I cut the motor down, you know, I cut it to fit the cutback cab. And the gear's a little stripped, so that's why it skips. But you can run. Like, look. You know, that's, that's a stripped gear. Or the, it's not grabbing the axle. I need to glue that in. But he can run. And actually, I have a battery in there. But it's such a tight fit. Like, when it's in, it's fine. But if you want to get the shell in over it, it kind of has to stretch a little bit. So I, I just made the design work. I can say that. I'm not going to open it and show it because it's a pain. But it's in there. Oh, yeah, the coal loads. All these have it. But what I did here is I cut my own custom piece, right? And my style is I, I use hot glue for the coal. Like, I, I dab it in and junk. I mess with it, and I think it looks pretty good. But it sits in from the back, and it's clip, it's pinned between the cab and the motor. Like, the uh, let me grab a spare motor. I have one from a separate thing up here. No, I do not. All right, let's see. Do I have? Oh, wait. Shoot. This is this is pretty. No, this is not pretty easy. Okay, let me see. Okay, no, I'm just gonna describe it. But yeah, the the motor it goes like it does this shape, right? It goes down and out. Where it goes out, it's pinned between like right under here and the cab uh, panel, right? So it's pinned in between, so it's stuck there, and I think it looks pretty good. All three have it. Yeah. We got silver handrails on the the whole shebang, and it's just I I really like how this turned out. I have I really have no complaints with how all three of these turned out. Of course, I had to compromise a fair bit with these. However, I think they look good. I don't think there's much I'd change about them, and I'm happy for them to be a part of my fleet. And yeah, I'm just I'm happy with these. You got jinty well I, I might call him jinty i don't really have a name set yet jinty the lms one which i'm not going to say the name of or anything yet and star here and i'm going to say this real quick for a star my dear pal my dear friend 
I will link his Twitter and YouTube in the description and just go check it out. He makes some pretty good customs and junk and just, yeah, go, go, go look, go look, go look at my friend's stuff. Yeah. All right. And with that, that's really all I need to cover. I, I'm just so happy with these guys. Yeah. These, these were, you know, my, my past couple of projects have been just major builds. Yeah, well, actually, no, I, I was, I let up a bit with Diesel 10 and my Class 25, but still, you know, it's nice to finally be working on more simple stuff where it's shaping, but not complete scratch builds, you know, that'll, that'll be for a few projects, you know, but overall, it's like, I don't know, maybe two videos after this might be, it's slightly simple, but I don't know, I'm just, I'm having fun with these. I'm really, and I'm, I'm, I recently, I've been working on customs that I need to make, and I still have a few that I need to make for some things that I'm not going to state yet in this area, era of the channel, but I can, I'm finally moving into the spot where I can start having more fun making just random junk again, but it would, you know, with this, uh, from now on, you know, I might make a custom of a class I want to make just to make it, but it's going to stand around my little universe stuff where my Northwestern fleet my off solar fleets and just you know fun stuff you know i'm just i'm having fun with models that's nice yeah i don't know i'm, I'm just gonna start enjoying these and i hope you all enjoyed this video that's all i have to say so with that it's time to close just yeah i not much to say thank you all for watching and goodbye <laughs>